Welcome back to my channel. I am DL Samuels, your friendly retoucher and photographer. This is a part two of my previous video on how to set up frequency separation with the mixer brush. In this video, we'll walk through frequency separation, mixer brush, and the settings I use. So let's get started. First thing is to set up the frequency separation layers. If you don't know how to do so, please check out my previous video. We will be focusing on the tones copy layer to blend the skin tones. Click on the mixer brush. I usually use a soft brush so my hardness is at 0%. And my mixer brush settings is wet 30%, load 30%, mix 20%, flow 30%. The mixer brush is like a paintbrush that you use to mix two colors together to make the skin tone less blotchy and more even. We are going to blend or mix those blotchy areas to make the skin tones even. Find a clear area and brush in and out of the blotchy areas. Our aim is to make it be as natural as possible. Using a Wacom tablet will make retouching so much easier, so please invest in one. Remember to frequently make the layer visible and invisible or a before and after so you can see the progress. The changes are sometimes subtle. I mentioned this in my previous video that this is not my go-to method. It's a method you use if you're in a rush or your images are just going on social media. If it's for print, use the dodge and burn method and take your time. That two to three hours per image is a long time, but your image quality and client will appreciate it. Remember to zoom out when retouching. It's important to see the whole image and also change the size of your brush. These are the shortcuts to change the sizing of your brush. And that's it. This is a before and after. I know I kept saying I want to do more videos more frequently, but my depression and anxiety won't allow me. Thanks again. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon.